All right, so welcome to my video of my uh, Voyager Revel uh, Vo Voyager build. Uh, just a quick description of what this is. I got the 1677 scale uh, Revel version of the Voyager, USS Voyager from Star Trek uh, TV series. So I uh, put that together along with a couple of uh, aftermarket products, uh, some paragraphics, brass, photo etch uh, parts, uh, DLM, uh, clear blue resin uh, deflector dishes, and uh, oh, also couldn't uh, fail to mention the uh, base, the plaque uh, identification for the base, which was really very well done from uh, Matt at Laserfire Creations. So that's backlit. I'll show you that in a second. I also used the Trek Modeler aftermarket lighting kit for uh, this model. So uh, quite a few uh, different um, pieces that were in addition to the model, but really tend to jazz it up quite a bit. So let me show you what exactly I did here. Um, the base is a resin copy. I made a mold and cast a resin copy of the base from the Enterprise E because it's bigger, it looks nicer. The base that came with uh, the Revel uh, Voyager uh, seemed a little small and anemic in comparison. So let's see, uh, we'll look at a f I didn't use all of the photo etch parts, only a, uh, just a couple because I have a I don't know, I'm not very good at bending brass photo etch. So these uh, transporter emitters, like right here and back there, and also the conference room and ready room windows. Those really came in handy because I tried to drill out those, um, those windows and did a really crappy job. But uh, once I drilled all of them out, those photo etches really saved the day. They look really great. Uh, let's see. What else? So you'll see um, when I light it up the Trek Modeler lighting kit, which really tends to liven up the model and gives it a, 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 an extra dimension. I will say that the LEDs that I used are way too bright. I have a couple of, well, I got a whole string of Christmas LED, three millimeter LEDs that are a nice warmer white, um, but these are just uh, way too bright. You'll see when I turn it on. So I mentioned the DLM aftermarket deflector dishes. Here's one there. You'll see the paragraphics docking hatch. I left it brass, uh, obviously not uh, directly from the TV show, but uh, I like the, the metal look that it has, just a natural brass. And then the uh, dish there, uh, that'll show up very nicely once it's lit up. Uh, let's see, what else? Um, the warp engines are actually CCFL tubes. So uh, one in each uh, nacelle and uh, a red light up front. And let's see, we'll just go ahead and light it up. All right, so here is the Laser Fire Creations aftermarket uh, plaque. It's uh, lit up in the back by two 12-inch CCFLs, which shine very nicely through it. And let's go ahead and light up the, uh, the model. So the Trek Modeler lighting kit makes the job very easy. Uh, things just uh, plug in, you get very clear directions as to where to drill and where to place it. All the wiring is done. The nice uh, power connection comes with it. And also a surprise, the uh, AC adapter uh, for the um, Enterprise kit. You had to buy the adapter separately, but this one came with. So uh, the power coupling is there. And like I said, you see how bright those LEDs are? Pretty, pretty darn bright. But let's see. I'm gonna turn these lights off. And let's close this. Get a little more contrast. One thing that I did that was uh, separate from the Trek Modeler kit was I lit up the shuttle bay. And you'll see there in the back, there's um, the shuttle that came with the kit. It's obviously out of scale. It's too huge for that shuttle bay. But um, I worked with it anyway. I'll call it a cargo shuttle, whatever. But it sits very nicely in there. Oops, a little too out of focus. 
and I don't know if you can tell, but I put in two fiber optic, I guess you can call them headlights, uh, in the front of the shuttle. So the shuttle bay is lit, the um, shuttlecraft itself has a LED shoved in it. In the back here, you can see the paragraphics photo etch rear windows, and the back end of the strobe is shining through them. Uh, there's very little space to work in the back there, so you do what you can. But you can see the uh, strobes from the Trek Modeler lighting kit, the photon, uh, the rear, f uh, the aft, I guess you call them, aft photon launchers, the red impulse engines, and uh, the kit itself has a lot of detail. I was surprised how thin the plastic is. But when you uh, put it together and paint it, it looks like a pretty solid ship. Alright, so... LEDs all through the, the craft, and that's not good. Alright, that's better. Let's see some of the detail. And I'll turn on the lights for this. And we'll turn on a little more light there, so you can see a little more detail. All uh, right, a lot of decals to give more detail to the model. The overall ship is a very light ghost gray, which I think is almost exactly the same color as what you see in the show. So it's kind of tough to tell color, but I like how that shuttle bay came out. Let's see a slow pan. This uh, model took a little more time than I expected it to take. You see a photo etch uh, docking hatch there. A lot, a lot, a lot of little detail for the external sensors. There's quite a few of them. There's one right there. Of course, there's the main one right there. A lot of detail there. And let's see. I want to show you the aftermarket deflectors. These, are, like I said, are clear blue resin, so you don't have to paint them or uh, diffuse the light. All you need to do is put the light behind it, and it looks really good. So, and here's the main deflector. And the Trek Modeler uh, forward uh, photon launchers there. And the very, very bright LEDs there. You can see the LEDs coming out through the conference and the ready rooms. They're like headlights. They're so bright. Alright, like I said, the kit itself has a, a lot of uh, decals. The lifeboat hatches, you can see there. And this is the first time that I've had to drill windows in a kit, so that took quite a bit of time to learn. What I did learn is use a very, very, very slow drill speed with your Dremel, otherwise the plastic will melt. And then you'll have a, a goopy uh, drill bit that you have to keep cleaning. Alright, so don't want to bore you too much with um, anything else. The kit itself, I like it. I enjoyed the show. I thought the, uh, the ship itself was pretty cool. So um, the base itself is, uh, what is it, half inch thick MDF fiberboard and uh, the acrylic is 1 16th of an inch thick and I ordered that and uh, I got that from Ridout Plastics, you can look them up at eplastics.com and um, if you want you can pay a little extra, they'll cut the acrylic for you which I highly recommend, if you've ever tried to cut acrylic it's a mess and it's very difficult to get straight lines so anyway uh, that's it for my video thanks for checking it out